In this file, I've got a JavaScript function in the head of the page. The function is called change font size, which is designed to change the size of the font in this unordered list called fruits to 20 pixels. But at the moment, it doesn't do anything. JavaScript functions need to be triggered by an event, and at the moment we don't have an event. The simplest way to use a function is to bind it to an element using an HTML attribute, an event handler. The event handlers in HTML attributes all begin with the word on, and one of the most common event handlers goes on the body tag called onload. So if I click inside the body tag, type a space and on, Dreamweaver's code hints show me the available event handlers for the body tag. And the one that I want is onload. And you put the name of the function that you want to call or execute between the quotes. So it's change font size. And it's important to get the spelling correct. JavaScript is case sensitive. So if you don't have the correct spelling or if you've got uh, the wrong combination of uppercase and lowercase, the function won't work. To call a function, you need the parentheses after it. So if I just save that and then activate Live View, you see that the font size has been changed. Just toggle Live View on and off again. You can see the font size has changed. Obviously, that's not the most useful of functions to change it on the, the body load. It would be much simpler to change the CSS. But this is demonstrating how you activate a function or execute a function by binding it to an element using an event handler. Now, I don't want to use the onload event handler in this particular case. What I want to do is to create a link on this particular paragraph and uh, use that as an event handler. So make sure that the property inspector is in HTML mode and in the link field, type all in lowercase JavaScript followed by a colon and a semicolon and press tab or enter to ensure that it's inserted in the HTML. Using JavaScript like this followed by a colon and a semicolon is what's known as a dummy link. You don't want the link to go to another page, but you simply want to add an event handler to the link. Instead of using JavaScript like this, a lot of people use the hash sign. And that works as well, but the problem with using a hash sign as a dummy link is that when anybody clicks a link that contains a hash sign, the page jumps to the top. With JavaScript, colon, semicolon, the page doesn't move. So I need to add the event handler within the opening tag for the link, space, type on, and you'll see there's a lot more event handlers available for a link. But the one which I want is on click, so the event will be triggered when somebody clicks the link. And again, put the name of the function that you want to be executed between the quotes. So change font size, and again followed by those parentheses. And we'll save that, go into Live View. You see, this time the font in the list has not changed when the page loaded. But as soon as I click that link, bingo, we've got 20 pixel uh, size font in the unordered list. And it hasn't affected any other part of the page. The only problem with my function is that it's a one-way street. It will increase the font size but there's no way to get back to the original size if I want to do so. To do that, JavaScript uses conditions. 